Now it's time for another talk for our magazine, Poker Magazine, and I'm talking to Martin Jacobsen. Martin, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, just fine. We, we, I, I have to remind everyone else that uh, uh, we're both Swedish and could have done this in Swedish, but uh, we got some appreciation because we're doing the, these monthly blogs, uh, so we're going to continue speaking in English, right? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so it's been a, almost a month since we did this. Uh, I mean, the most uh, recent thing is being to Malta, right? How was Malta for you? Uh, it was great. Uh, I had a I had a lot of deep runs, but uh, uh, unfortunately, I didn't get to see the city that much. Uh, so that was a bit disappointing. But uh, yeah, overall, it was a it was a good trip. I mean, well, there was it was the first time that they arranged it in uh, Malta. How was the schedule there? Do you think the tournament schedule looked good? Yeah, it was uh, it was good. Uh, it was uh, um, most EPTs are quite similar in, in schedule, but there was uh, some uh, some new tournaments. Uh, but the the problem with the EPT schedule is that it's almost too good, so you get very very little time off, and it's uh, it's very grueling. Like if you want to play all the big stuff. Yeah, of course. It, it's uh, I mean Malta. Have you been to Malta before? No, it was my first time. Yeah, so you have to go back to see it, right? For sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know what you're saying. There was, there was action 24-7 more or less. So also some, some cash games going on in the basement. So there, was, there were poker players there for seven days straight, right? Yeah. Yeah, so what, what was the first event you played? Was it the high roller? Uh, yeah, they, uh, they scheduled the 25K for the first day. Mm -hmm. uh, so I played that. Um, Busted late day one and then uh, played uh, day one B of the uh, Eureka. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the uh, thousand thousand euro buy-in, mm -hmm. which got like twelve hundred players. Yeah, it was huge. Yeah, I I didn't I didn't quite look at the schedule uh, the structure for it, so I later realized like how slow it was. So yeah. I made a I made a deep run and. Uh, uh, I busted uh, late day three, and it was like barely in the money. Wow! Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would you so, have played it if you knew that? Uh, I don't know. Probably because I really wanted to play something, and there wasn't yeah. much going on right. uh, either those two days until until the two K, which yeah. I played the day after, or literally the same day as I busted the one K. I, I jumped into the uh, the two K. The two K was actually the IPT high roller, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay, that was a pretty cool tournament too. There's a lot, a lot of yeah, players that in that one too. That was a lot faster, actually. So yeah. I enjoy that more. Yeah, and yeah. I uh, I ended up making a deep run in that as well. So I made day two and then busted halfway into day two in the money, mm -hmm. and then uh, played online. <laughs> Did you play online as well? <laughs> yeah, and then uh, the day the next day was uh, day one B of the main. So I played that. I uh, made day. Day three, yeah, busted late day three. Yeah, a bit into the money, right? Yeah. Yeah, but that's nice. I mean, I've, well, it's always annoying when you get knocked out, but still, you made a cash, which is cool. Yeah, no, it was fun. Yeah, you know, I'm making uh, a lot of deep runs. Uh, mm. It's always fun. Yeah. What what, yeah. what can you say about the main event? Because I I was there. I saw you. Uh, you going up and down. You were struggling for 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 parts of the tournament with kind of short stack. Mm -hmm. uh, are you happy with the way you played it? Yeah, I'm. I'm very happy. Um, yeah, it felt it felt good all the way through. But yeah, I, I was really short, especially on the bubble. I actually cashed with seven big blinds and then managed to spin it up once the bubble burst. Yeah. Um, so I was quite happy. Yeah, to making it to day three, uh, considering how short it was for most of the time. Yeah, I remember once I was walking down to the fifth floor when I saw you down there. There was not. There were not too many tables left. Let's see. Was that day one? Maybe you were at the same table as Anton Wig. Do you remember? Yeah, that was day one. Yeah, and yeah. also at the end of the day, Ilari Sahamis came to your table. Yeah, we weren't <laughs> quite sure if it was him. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen him for like two, three years. No, but I mean no one has seen him on the live tour for a long yeah. time. Yeah, I guess he's back. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Well, he's back on the online tables anyway. Yeah, yeah, I'm not quite following the cash game, so, but uh. Yeah, yeah, I, I've seen him uh, being the most, uh, I don't know, one of the most successful players 2015 on the on the in the cash games. Oh, really? Yeah, oh. so he's been crushing it. Uh, I, I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, it was fun to see him. It's a character, right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Okay, so in the, um, I guess there weren't much time to enjoy either a company or, or, or uh, the island when you played that much. No, very little time. Uh, I barely even like went to any restaurants really because uh, um, I'm not a big fan of going to restaurants, crowded restaurants during the dinner breaks. Right. Uh, so every dinner break, basically, we, me and my roommate, roommate uh, uh, JC, we just ordered room service and went back to the room, ate, and then uh, chilled for a bit, and then yeah, back to the tournament. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we had a lot of room service. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Now, but it's really hard to to plan a, a tournament series like this because you never know if you're going to make it day two, day three in the big tournament, right? So, sure. Yeah. So you can never say I will be free that day. Uh, no. The exactly. only thing you can do is to check out the tournament. If you get knocked out, what would you play, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's always something like it, there's always a new tournament to play. So yeah, just gotta plan it. Like basically plan it to that. You're going. You're going to play every day, yeah. like nonstop, <laughs> for for the duration. So what was the after getting knocked out from the main event? Wasn't mm -hmm. it, it? Wasn't day four? Was it? Was it day three or day four? Uh, it was day. Because it, it felt like day. you went pretty deep there. Yeah, I did. Um, ah, never mind. We we can check that out. Day three, late day three. It was like thirty minutes left of the day. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's correct. So after that, getting knocked out, you played one more tournament. Was it? I played uh, the the ten k high roller. Okay. Uh, okay. So then, when you were done with that, I mean, how was the ten k uh, high roller? Because it was pretty stacked with good players, wasn't it? Uh yeah, but it, it got a lot of players. Uh, <laughs> the, Must have been one of the biggest, right? I think so. Yeah. Uh, Barcelona or Prague might have been bigger, but this one got over 300, which is which is amazing. Like the the first prize is almost the same as the main event. So, yeah, uh, it's always good to like have a second chance like that if you bust the main event. Yeah, yeah of course, that's pretty cool. Uh, I know also that quite a few other Swedes were playing because you said they won. Let's see, they won a was a Sunday. And you, right, said you, yeah. played, you played some online as well. Did you squeeze in yeah, some wins well, there? Was, sorry? Was it a Sunday grind? Yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> Did you have any scores? Did you, huh? Did you have any scores? Um, no. No, it wasn't a, it wasn't a good one. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah. I know Bro, a lot of Swedes were, were sharing grinding room and they had uh, quite a few results, both online uh, during the Sunday, but also a lot of good Swedish results overall. overall. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yes. We had uh, summer. Someone was winning the turbo, and uh, Allstat was second in some other events. So it was it was fun. It was a lot of good Swedish results. So uh, besides the poker, uh, what's new in your life? I, something about you found a place to live, right? <laughs> yeah, I found found another place to live. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'm moving uh, quite soon in in about two weeks. Okay. So right now I'm just dealing with uh, with all the departments uh, here in the UK. It's quite strict you need a, a solicitor which is basically your lawyer and then the seller has a solicitor and uh, they communicate together and then there's a sales agent and there's a service wow. that needs to be that yeah there's a lot it's a lot of stuff to to take care of so i'm just dealing with that right now so it's good to get a, a little bit of a break too between malta and, and monaco and there's there's not much going on online so um yeah, that's right. There's a bit of a gap here in, in April. Uh, I mean, in the end of April, it's going to be Monaco, uh, the EPT final, of course. Um, are there any series, live series at all? Right now? Yeah. Uh, I think it's uh, Irish Open. You're so. right. Irish Open starts now. Yeah. <laughs> but you didn't plan to go there. No, I mean, I can't, can't play them all. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know if I, I wanted to. It's. Uh, just got to prioritize a little bit. Of course. Oh, that's nice. Is it a nice area you found uh, the place to live in? Yeah, it's not It's not too far away, actually. It's like a 20-minute walk from where I live now. Okay. Um, so, yeah, it, w it would be interesting. I actually don't know too much about the area, so it would be interesting to, to explore the site. And mm. I know we talked, uh, when we talked about a year ago, when we did that big story in the article in Poker Magazine, you talked about maybe moving out from London. Is that now, are you more like you're going to stay in London longer now? No, not really. It hasn't really changed much. Um, I'm still fairly sure that I won't be staying in London uh, um, for that much longer. 
but uh, uh, after after winning the main event, uh, uh, my bankroll changed a little bit. So I <laughs> a little now, bit, <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Uh, yeah. So now I just have the um, uh, the opportunity to move to something bigger. You know where I yeah. can. Well, first of all, I'm I'm living on the lower ground at the moment. Uh, You're living on on in the lower ground. Okay. So basically, basement. Okay. <laughs> and it's uh, it's not fit for a world champion, right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, know. I didn't think I didn't think it would affect my mood as much as it it's it does. Living in the basement, more or less, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. You don't get a lot of uh, like sunlight. It's like yeah. it's not. It's quite dark. Um, so I just wanted to move to something more. Uh, well, first of all, above the ground, and then like uh, a house or flat that gets more daylight, like yeah. inside, because I think it would uh, increase my happiness level. Yeah, it might even be worth it because you will feel better and maybe play better when you play online and so exactly. on. Exactly, it's an investment. And, of course. And um, yeah, I'll be able. I'll have a, an extra bedroom or two, so I can like host my friends and family, Excellent. and they come and visit, and that's. Something I'm not able to at the moment, so uh, that's worth a lot too. Yeah, but yeah, no. Uh, in the future, I, I definitely see myself moving somewhere else. Though, like, I don't think, I don't. I realize I don't want to live in a in a big city um, uh, for for that much longer. Okay, maybe not. Would it be like a city maybe out if you move? Because you talked about Vancouver, which is also not a small city anyway. No, uh, but maybe if you would go there, would it be like outside town or something? Yeah, I me. Mean, I, I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to move into a forest like and get no, no. completely uncivilized or no, no, uh, either. But uh, uh, something in between, mm -hmm. uh, sure. Like I could see myself uh, moving to Vancouver, maybe and and live maybe thirty, forty five minutes outside the city where there's a lot of greenery and you'd only extract exactly inside the city. Yeah, I think also, uh, if I'm right, uh, when it comes to uh, you work out a lot and you practice a lot and you prefer to go outdoors and be outdoors working out instead of being in the gym sometimes at least, right? Or uh, what do you say? No, I, I mean, I like I like both sides. Yeah. Uh, I, I prefer being outdoors, but a gym is, is much more convenient because you have all the equipment and it's... It's basically like it's a gym, right? So yeah. it's made for working out. So you have everything handy. Yeah. Well, if you're outdoors, you you gotta be more uh, uh, you gotta be more uh, flexible with your um, um, idea. With your, yeah, yeah, I know. Right, equipments and yeah, uh, uh, try to to uh, to schedule a workout like in in a different way. Yeah. yeah. How's how's the working out going? Are you in good shape? Yeah, yeah, in really good shape. Um, Any more yoga? Yeah, I, I started doing more yoga recently, um, and and less gym, and I really like it. I feel like I've, uh, um, I feel much more uh, balanced overall, and uh, I feel like my posture gets a lot better. Uh, the the worst the worst thing about playing live poker, I realized, is that you have to sit in the chair all day. Yeah. Because uh, at home I I got a, a standing desk now, so right. I, I try I like standing uh, basically all the time. Even when you grind, I mean, you prefer to have that standing table and, and play online. Yeah, 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 I stand for yeah, I stand basically a whole session, mm -hmm. um, and I just feel like I get so much more energy, and I don't get that lower back pain, and yeah. I don't lean forward too much, and yeah, it's just more like a natural. Yeah, post of course. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Uh, are you, do you have any cool plans for uh, except for now trying to settle in in the new apartment? I guess you're looking forward to Monaco. Um, uh, any other things happening in the coming month? Uh, in April, uh, no. Just uh, just move in and then uh, uh, go to Monaco, basically. Yeah, there, there is a big thing, but that's a discussion for. For um, next next talk, and that's actually the scoop. I guess you look forward to scoop, do you? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to scoop. Mm. Uh, it's uh, it's probably my favorite series of the year. Yeah, so a lot of players say that. I mean, mm. W Coop is very nice, but scoop is different with the three levels and. Yeah, exactly. You get to choose uh, which which buying suits you, and 
Uh, yeah, you get to play versus different player pools. And yeah, especially, I mean, even even if you maybe not the lowest, but at least the medium, mm. uh, if there's a, a really nice tournament that you like, you can even play all three, but let's say at least two of each tournament, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I yeah, don't... I can play all three. Now you you're stuck in the uh, <laughs> you're stuck in the Texas No Limit world. Have you uh, considered trying to play? Because Scoop is one of those you know series where you really can try the other games. Would you try one? Yeah, I, I definitely consider it many times, but uh, I've never actually taken the step to seriously uh, learn any of the games. Uh, we usually play a little bit just for fun, like in Vegas. Uh, uh, after we're, we're done <laughs> playing at the Rio, yeah. Uh, but uh, I just feel like, honestly, I feel like I play so much poker already. So if I would learn all these new games, like first of all, it would take me a lot of time to learn them, yeah. and then a lot of time to get good at them. And then once I'm good at them, I'm, I want to play them, and then I have to give up a lot of no limit. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Bless yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So, uh, so now I'm I'm quite happy with just. Focusing on no limit and uh, um, yeah, just trying to get a, a better at no limit. Yeah, I know. I know that uh, some really good players have uh, have uh, also said that it has affected. Uh, it, it, eventually, it will affect your Texas No Limit game. One, you don't have enough time to con uh, continue to develop your, your Texas game, which you have to do, and also mm -hmm. your focus gets into maybe stud games or other games, which might affect your game. Yeah, I mean, yeah, maybe you start playing Texas like you're playing Stud or your yeah. ways. Yeah, or Omaha. Uh, oh, it's or interesting. Uh, I, I sat next to uh, George Dancer mm -hmm. in, the, in the High Roller in Malta, and he actually said the same thing. <coughs> Did he? Uh, yeah, because he asked me if I, if I played any other games, and then he told me that you're you're better off sticking to, uh, to No Limit because uh, he, he said that he noticed himself, like, once he's. Once he uh, plays more PLO and then goes back to hold them, he he feel like he loses a uh, he loses a lot of his game. Like yeah. it, his Texas game get worse uh, immediately. Yeah, maybe that could be something for the. I mean, give it three four years. Right now, you, you should maybe stick to the thing. Yeah, maybe. I mean, we'll see too how how the how the market um, changes over time. Like maybe PLO. Becomes the number one game, or maybe uh, I don't know, this to seven or yeah. draw or whatever gets uh, more popular than hold them eventually. I don't, I don't think it's gonna happen, but who knows? Yeah, and I mean, it's a yeah. more consideration to take. I think for sure that the mixed games uh, will grow, um, uh, especially. I, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, no limit. Texas, no limit for sure is gonna stay the biggest, but maybe they will. Uh, make the gap a bit smaller because now it's such a big difference right mm -hmm. it's hard to find a, a tournament with a lot of players in any other game in texas no limit yeah that's true unless you uh, the world series or yeah. maybe scoop have you already checked out the uh world series schedule yeah i have uh it looks good i think <laughs> yeah are oh, you going to be there from the very start yeah that's the plan yeah there, there was some Colossus event and some other big ones really in the start that maybe you don't want to miss. Yeah, I mean that's gonna be a, it's gonna be a real cluster like that one. Oh <laughs> yeah. my god, that one! <laughs> yeah, it would be interesting to see how they handle it. Yeah, how they arrange it. I mean, yeah. I, was it five twenty five buy in or something? Yeah, I think it's it's only five hundred buy in, and I mean if you look at how much how many players play the the monster stack or the the millionaire maker that that has. Twice or three times the amount buy. Yeah. Uh, this one's it's just like you gotta see. I don't know all all sorts of people in it. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have some funny opponents there, I guess. He's definitely gonna break the record for the biggest tournament ever, I think. Live, yeah, live. I, 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 yeah, it's gonna be so big. I mean, even if uh, some people would think that because it's the beginning of the series and a lot of foreigners haven't haven't got there yet, there's enough Americans, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. and I think yeah, uh, some people might come for it and then go back yeah. and, and then come back for the main. Yeah, I mean, um, uh, are you you you're planning to stay there a full seven weeks or whatever it is? Do yeah, you? that's the plan. Have you fixed the house and so on? No, I actually haven't. Uh, wow. This is, yeah, 
I'm out counting last minute, so we're but trying to sort it right now. That's for sure the plan, right? Uh, yeah, I, we've been talking about getting maybe a hotel this year, or, or really? maybe stay, yeah, or maybe a condo, um, okay. at Panorama or something. But uh, uh, I don't think there's much available anymore, and I really don't want to stay in a hotel for that long. So no, it's, it's almost not possible. Is, yeah, I think a house is uh, is the only way to do it, really. Yeah. But it's it's tough to find a, a decent house that's that's close to the Rio. Anyone, most, yeah, anyone who's watching this, who's English speaking, maybe have some contacts in, in uh, Las Vegas, get in touch yeah, with Martin, sure. give him a good offer. <laughs> yeah. Maximum 10 minutes from the Rio. <laughs> yeah, yeah, huge, cheap. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Are, are you, then you would maybe stay with a few friends and so on. Yeah, the, the, usual, <laughs> the usual suspects. Is that a, a secret crowd or is, is there, a, a, how many are you? Are you a closed group of how many? No, it's basically it's just like me and uh, uh, Mark Mark Rodoja, Canadian, and yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Sebastian Safari, uh, and it's British. Yeah. And then uh, sometimes like some some of our friends stays with us for for not the entire summer. Like Sam Sam and Shark here might stay with us. Yeah. For, for a few weeks and yeah. some other guys. Yeah, Sam was doing well in the main event for long periods, but uh, eventually yeah, I thought that was it. But no. yeah, he had a huge lead for for for, for quite a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Did you yeah. talk to him about it? Did was anything special happened? Is he annoyed? Uh, no, no, he seemed fine about it. Yeah, yeah, he's a pro. Yeah, yeah. That was good. Okay, very nice talking to you, Martin, and uh, good to see you are doing well. Hopefully, you find some solace in that new place of yours. Oh, when are you moving in? Uh, mid-April, so in about two weeks. Okay. I'm not entirely sure about the move, exact dates yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Excellent. We, we, we put this in the magazine, and uh, we'll stay in touch, and we'll see when we talk next time. All right, great. Okay, take care, man. All right, thanks.